partitioning rectangles and fractions. So we're going to save that in our brain. We'll come back to that a little bit later. We're going to do a review on some of our things that are about numbers in base 10. You know, like hundreds and tens and ones. So we're going to start uh, this week with fluency. We've practiced this before. Who can explain what you're going to try to do with these three numbers? Melody? Just like our secret code card. So if you were to put all of these numbers together, it shouldn't matter what order they're in. If they're it's one, one hundred, and tens, it doesn't matter the order. When you put them together, what is the standard form? Okay, so we're going to do this practice one together. If you know the total, go ahead and write it. Take your cap off your marker. If I put these numbers together, what will be my total in standard form? When you're done writing your number, put your cap back on your marker. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. I got it beside her. All right, thanks. If you said the number 561, you were correct. Remember what you know about hundred. All right, we are going to look at, back at this. We also did this a while ago. But it'll be on your test at the end of this trimester, so I want you to be successful. Voices are off and eyes are up here. <coughs> Thank you. So let's read our learning intention. Are you ready? Read it with me. We are learning to add and subtract 10 and 100 from any number, 100 to 900. So what's this called when it's like, like 100 or 200 or 357? What are those digit numbers called? Ooh. Ariana? Well, hundreds or how many digits do they have? Mark? Three digit numbers. So we're working with three digit numbers. You're going to need to pay attention to whether you're adding or subtracting 10 or adding and subtracting 100. What you know about place value, you need to apply that. Now we've worked with strategies before, like the hundreds chart to do this. So I'll model one for you. But now since we're getting to the end of second grade, I'll wait. And I hope a letter doesn't have to be erased for free time Friday. It says mentally. Can anyone take a guess? What does it mean mentally? If you can do this mentally? Gal? Independently. Independently, that's part of it. Ariana? <coughs> fluent. And what does fluent mean? Fast. <coughs> CJ? Fast and quick. Fast and quick? Correct. Part of it is being quick or fast. The other part is? Correct. Correct. Fast and correct. Stop here. Fast and correct. So you have to do it fast and correct. That's part of fluency, okay? And doing it independently. And one more thing. Can you think about it? Melody? It means like just know it in your head. We practiced a lot. So I, you can't use the hundred chart anymore. We're moving past that. We're at the end of second grade, so you need to do this in your head. Let's do a couple practices with 10. So on your board, what I would like you to do is draw three lines. You're gonna draw a line one for where you're going to subtract, you're going to draw a line for where you're going to write the number I give you, and you're going to write the number for adding 10. So draw three lines on your board. Do it now. Go, go. All right. So I'm going to give you a number. As soon as I give you the number, I want you to write what would that number be minus 10? And what would that number be plus 10? So if I give you this number to start with, Go ahead, fill in your other two numbers. G-O, go. All right, finish in five, four, three, two, one. Put your cap on your marker. Ready or not, time to share out. Let me see your boards. Okay, Amber, can I borrow yours? Amber had 54 is 10 left. The number was 64, and then the next number is 74. Three more. How do we know she's correct? Because she got her. Ariana thinks you're a quiet hand. Because it's correct. 
goes like honey. This goes like okay. four, five, six, okay. seven. What, what do you mean four, five, six, seven? Are you talking about the ones what? place or the tens Ooh. place? Let's be precise with our language. I'm talking about like the tens place just like the ones place. Okay, so if this is our tens place, we know that what number needs to go here? Because when you think about counting, you would count five, six, seven. So five is going to be a ten. Fifty will be ten less than sixty. And then, then what the, about this number that goes here? Oh, it's four. I can it's see the four. on your hair. Yes. So there's just the four stays the same. Our ones place stays the same. It's the tens place that changes. And then so Amber said seventy-four was here. The ones place stays the same. It's the tens place that changes. All right. So here we go. Erase your words. Now we're going to do 100 plus 100. No, we're going to practice 10 again. Okay. Um, Keep your three lines or your three boxes. Ready? All right, here we go. Pay attention. We're still changing the tens digit, the number in the tens place. I don't know about 300. Okay. 10 less and 10 more. Write it down. G-O-Go. -go. All right, let's share out. Who would like to come share their work? Me, 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 me. Who has a quiet me. hand? Brett, do you want to come show your work? Me. Come on down, come on down to the smart board. Won't you come on down, come I'll on down to the smart board? All right, what number did you write here? Yeah. Loud and proud, one more time. Okay, and the given number was 341. I'll wait. That's a letter erased. Okay. Okay, and then you're adding 10, 351. I noticed that the hundreds place stayed the same. I noticed the ones place stayed the same. What changed? The tens place. All right, one more practice. You ready? This one's going to be tricky. That's how tricky for me. I'm the master. You I don't know if you can master. figure this one out. I got this. Go ahead. Tens place is the only one that changes. <laughs> All right, caps on your marker. CJ, you want to come up and come on down, come on down, the smart board. Won't you come on down, come on down, the smart board. Wow. Okay, let's see. Can you explain your thinking? You started with 403, and what did you do here? 400 plus 10 equals 413. Yep, you just changed the tens place. That one was pretty easy. We can count up by tens just fine. Now, what were you? What was going on in your head for this one? Um, that I just knew that it was minus. I just um. I knew that um, minus three equals nine, I mean 400, 400, then 400, then I said I only have seven more to subtract. So that was 900, then I did, um, what number Oh, I don't know, wait, that's okay. Okay, so what should be the number? Oh, good reflecting on your thinking and making that change. You're right. That you have, you're, you were in the hundreds here, so you had to go back to 90. But now it's not 493. It should really be what? 3993. So we did have to change the hundreds place because we went back 10. So that was the exception. Okay, erase your boards, shake your brain out. Now we're gonna do changing hundreds. Erase your boards now. Yeah, we're going to work on changing the hundreds place. So let's quick uh, practice doing some counting. Use your voice or use your sign language. You choose. Let's count by one hundred. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. All right, so now if we are going to change the hundred, hmm, if I start at the number three hundred and... 15. My ones stays the same. My tenths stays the same. It's my hundreds that's going to change. Subtract 100 and add 100. Go ahead and try it. Ooh. All right, our ta common task today. You are going to be given these numbers. Okay? 
in your head, quickly, correctly, independently, just in your head, what is 10 less and what is 10 more? Complete the whole chart. It gives you a different number each time. Tyrese, please stop. Same thing at the bottom. Using this number, 100 less, 100 more. Then this number, 100 less, 100 more. See the point for you, good job. Yep. If this is 26, what's 10 less? Minus 10. Plus 15. No. Minus 15. If you're, if you're at 26 and you subtract 10, can I use four? Yeah, but we really need to not be using this. You have to just know it in your head. 26, subtract 10. Yes, and then what number goes in the ones place, Nyana? This girl is 